P-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. I think we're going to win, and it's going to be a great game. Plus, the pros, the celebs, all ready to hit the WM Phoenix Open, and we're pumping you up for the greatest show on grass. We have a massive golf course. We have hundreds of thousands of people coming out here every year. So much to look forward to. And yes, we have team coverage for you this morning. Valleywide bringing you inside access to all of the action happening all over town. But first, our Megan Thompson has a closer look at this traffic alert. Yep, the I-17, Kaylee, that northbound direction of the roadway near New River. Maybe you're taking a trip to the high country with some of those out-of-town guests that you have. So the left lane is blocked right now after DPS tells us that three construction workers were hit by a vehicle traveling in that area. We are hearing DPS telling us that they are alert and they are conscious, but we don't know the extent of their injuries or how long we're going to see this area closed off for. So right now we're dropping those speeds below 40 miles per hour as you're traveling north of the valley. As I bring you back to the valley, a few other issues to keep you posted on as you travel around town here this morning. The Loop 202, the overpass of the Red Mountain Freeway and Priest Drive, we do have a crash there with some flashing lights off in the distance here off to the left. So keep that in mind if you're usually traveling in that area and the 202 the westbound direction of the Santan freeway right near about McQueen we had a rollover crash this morning that does have injuries still working to get an update from DPS watching those speeds drop below 20 miles per hour in a spot we don't typically see slowing at this point of the morning so I want to make sure you had that heads up I'm gonna check your desert drive time in that spot plus give you a check of spots like the 10 the 17 the 51 where we typically see that slowing that's still coming up but I want to send things to meteorologist Iris Aramosi was a look at that most accurate forecast. So much going on and a lot of the fun kicking off today. So let's talk about it because today is going to be a gorgeous day if you have plans to be outside. Phoenix will top out in the upper 60s again. Yesterday, we made it to that forecast high of 69. Today, I think it's 68. Now, if you are going to be outside, it's going to be a gradual warm up. Chilly this morning, comfortable this afternoon. A couple of other things to keep in mind. Our burn time is at about 45 minutes, so protect your skin. Sunblock will be a great idea as our UV index sits in the moderate range. Air quality also in the moderate range. You're going to likely see that brown cloud over the valley again as we see a spike in particle pollution in the morning hours and improvements as the day goes on. And then our pollen counts medium. Overall, a great day to be outside, and it's going to get warmer. Winds will pick up, too. Tomorrow in the 70s, we go as high as 74 by Friday. And again, more breezes to finish out the week. We'll talk about the changes this weekend because I am still tracking a storm coming our way by Super Bowl Sunday. I'll detail out the latest track in just a few minutes. All right, looking forward to hearing about that timing. It's 6.02, and let's get back to our countdown to game time coverage. Just four days to the Super Bowl. I want to get you back out to our Nick Saletti, who is in Scottsdale at the ESPN Main Street tailgate, and it's a great spot really for all fans, Nick. Yeah, you know, especially because this one is free. Admission, at least, is free to this one, so you can't beat that. You got live music, live entertainment. You got games here. I, I mean, it is just awesome. It starts in about two hours, as you mentioned, but they're already getting things kicked off. I want to show you this. You can see that is the ESPN stage where you see all of those lights. They just kicked on a few minutes ago because they're gearing up for their first show at 8 o'clock Arizona time. So this here in Old Town is really going to be the backdrop for some of your favorite favorite ESPN shows like SportsCenter, NFL Countdown, all of that. And my producer, Bonnie, here, she told me that there's already people lining up, too. We walked around, and you could see them already lining up because they want to be on TV, right? They want to see all their favorite ESPN stars right here. And I love getting to show off the Valley, right, getting to show it off to a national audience. We have so much that we love here and so much to offer. So I, I love that we're, we're getting to put our, our best face forward this week. Okay, I want to break down what you can expect here when you come to the tailgate event here. Let's go ahead and show you the information. Starts today at 8 o'clock, goes until 8 o'clock tonight. That's going to be the same exact schedule for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Sunday, they're condensing the hours, of course, for the big game. Still starts at 8 o'clock, but things here are going to wrap up at about noon. Admission is free. There's different food vendors. That is what's going to cost you money, but the music, the entertainment, the games, all of that, no cost to you, which I think is awesome. Plenty of local businesses here, too, like Siena Gaves, Val's Fry Bread. Make sure you're supporting 
our, our local companies, our local restaurants as well. Parking, there's parking on the street, so you might want to Uber just in case. That's probably going to be your best bet. We'll have more of that for you coming up throughout the morning. Coming up in about 10 minutes or so, we're talking with the Department of Homeland Security. They're coming up with ways to keep you safe uh, in and around town as you're going to different events. And also, as you are shopping online, we know so many of you are going to be ordering hats, jerseys, you name it. So we're taking action to keep you safe. Yeah, including your money. Our Nick Saletti live from Old Town Scottsdale this morning, 6.05. And you know, as we continue our coverage of the big game, an iconic moment just before kickoff, the fighter jet flyover at the end of the national anthem. And this year, well, the Navy gets the honor with the plane stationed right there at Luke Air Force Base. And that is where we find our Jamie Warren. And Jamie, we hear this year's flyover really is one for the record books. Yeah, this is going to be the first time, Kaylee, that an all-women team will be flying over on Super Bowl Sunday. And we have the honor this morning of speaking with some of the women who will be up in the sky on Sunday. One of them is Navy officer Katie Martinez. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, dark and early this morning. <laughs> uh, first off, an all-women team, what does this mean to you to be a part of this? Absolutely. It's an honor. It's a privilege uh, being both a female aviator as well as a member of this flyover team. So we can't ignore where we are standing this morning. We are at Luke Air Force Base. We have the plane that you will be flying in on Sunday. It is right behind us. What is the name of this plane? Yes, yeah, so this is an F-18 Foxtrot Super Hornet. So it is the two-seat variant of a Super Hornet. Okay, and describe to me your role in this plane. Where will you be sitting? Uh, so you can see there's two seats. I'll be sitting in the back seat of this aircraft as I am a weapon systems officer. Uh, and I will be uh, sharing the cockpit with my pilot. Awesome. And for those who, I, first off, I've been learning so much about this today. And uh, when you, you see the movie Top Gun, for example, you yeah. said this is the plane in Top Gun 2? Absolutely. This uh, is our, our squadron helped film part of Top Gun 2. So some of these aircraft may have been in Top Gun That too. is so cool. And your role is like goose to maverick, right? Uh, yeah. So that's the F-14 variant. And yeah. now in the new uh, the new version, we are Bob from Lemoore, as every Wizzo from Lemoore's uh, claim to fame. And uh, for those who aren't aware about how flyovers work, I mean, you're going to be up in the air for quite some time, and then you get a cue, right, to go, and then, and that's when you know yeah. when to go? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we'll have an entire timing track, and we're just hoping that uh, we line up with the exact hit that they want for that TOT for the last second of the national anthem. Okay, and I'm hearing that you may have a chance to actually watch the Super Bowl after all of this? That is the goal, yeah. We'll hope to uh, land the Jets and make it over to the stadium in time for part of the game. Rooting for anyone in particular? Ooh, Mama Kelsey to do the coin toss. Uh, oh. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Okay. I'm not, uh, yeah. Mama Kelsey to do the coin toss. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, uh, Kaylee, we'll send things back to you. This is going to be an awesome uh, thing to witness on Super Bowl Sunday and history making as well. Oh, my gosh. And I love what she says about Donna Kelsey with two sons in the game playing for each team. She's been fun to watch along the way. Really great stuff this morning. Just feeling some good vibes. Thank you, Jamie. Live there at Luke Air Force Base. So moving from the big game to the WM Phoenix Open in full swing at TPC Scottsdale a little later this morning. Your favorite celebs, rock stars, and pro athletes are going to be teeing it up with the PGA Tour's best. And our Amelia Fabiano, she's made her way to the party early this morning out there at TPC. And Tea Times Amelia is still just a couple of hours away. But boy, is there ever a star-studded lineup. Yeah, absolutely. And everyone's kind of getting ready for it, or at least starting to this morning. You might be able to see some golf carts coming up behind me. TPC slowly waking up that tea time a little over two hours away. And as you said, Today's the star-studded day, right? Today is the Annexus Pro-Am day. It's when you're going to see all your favorite celebrities out here. And first up to tee off at 8.30, we have uh, Larry Fitzgerald. He's going to be alongside NFL all-time leading rusher Emmett Smith. Then comes Michael Phelps, J.J. Watt, and Carly Lloyd. They're all teeing off in the 9 o'clock hour. An exciting day for sure ahead at the WM Phoenix Open. And it's expected that more than 300,000 people on any given day of the Open are here at TPC. Hole 16 alone can see as many as 17,000 fans per day. That is capacity there. And there's obviously a massive amount of preparation that goes into this, a massive amount of technology that goes into making this event happen this week. A lot of people out here on their phones as well, checking scores or players or standings.
spendings, of course, posting to social media. Cox Business, who's taking care of all the Wi-Fi, says they have more than 480 Wi-Fi access points all throughout the course for the public and countless more private secure hotspot points for law enforcement and federal personnel only. The network supports all the vendors out here, the ATMs you're taking money out of, the machines you swipe your wristbands by. It's actually an even bigger scope of connectivity right now with the events going on in downtown Phoenix, of course, the Super Bowl out in Glendale. So from here in Scottsdale all the way out to Glendale, Cox Public Wi-Fi is free for the month of February because of everything going on. You do not need to be a customer like you typically do. A representative tells me they have people on standby to deal with any issues that might come from that. We have teams that are on call, um, particularly this month. They, they do this all the time, but we really are sensitive to it during the month of February. It's a heat map where we can kind of see usage. So if we see a lot of usage in the Scottsdale area, we can help kind of smooth out that connection so everyone will get an even connection, particularly those in the neighborhoods near TPC, for example. And tonight also kicks off the party at the Coors Light Bird's Nest as well. We're going to see a lot of people out there for some really big musical acts starting later on tonight. So make sure you stick ahead, uh, stick around because ahead at 630, we're going to be going over what it takes to lock down some of those major names in music, especially when there's so much competition across the valley with other major events going on. It's really interesting. So stick around for that. Back to you. Looking forward to that. Yeah, I was talking with John Felix about this yesterday. It takes quite a bit and several months of planning. Our Amelia Fabiano live there at the TPC Scottsdale. In fact, she just mentioned this, we are going to have more Phoenix open coverage for you coming your way, including the Coors Light Bird's Nest and how those Thunderbirds do everything they can to secure who you get to see at this premiere four night after party. Please, President's Day mattress sale is here to give you the best night's sleep. Save $1,000 on select mattresses. Hurry into America's number one furniture and mattress store. Or visit Ashley.com for better sleep and savings. Only at Ashley. After my motorcycle accident, I called Hastings and Hastings. Over 40 years representing accident victims. Your consultation is with a lawyer, not a salesman. While we discount our fee, we never cut corners. That's Hastings and Hastings. For savings you don't want to miss. Save up to 70% while well, you still can with thousands of new markdowns added on must-haves like home favorites, active brands, jeans, sweaters, boots, and PJs. Cold. Hey, cool costumes. Thanks. What are you supposed to be? I'm Tacoma. He's a truck. Do you like turn into a robot or something? No, but I can conquer any terrain. Tow, haul. Cool. No, it's, it's a character I'm working on. Toyota Tacoma, our hero. Right now, lease a new 2023 Tacoma for just $279 a month or a new 4Runner for only $359 a month. Toyota, let's go places. I'm here to say new FanDuel customers get up to $3,000 back if they don't win their first bet. And I'm training Gronk for the $10 million kick of destiny. Training montage. Can't you see? I'm doing this kick for all of us. You got a leg, don't you? Use it. Kick. Harder. Come on. The FanDuel kick of destiny with $10 million on the line. Only from America's number one sports book. With everything you have on your plate, earning your degree online seems impossible. But at Grand Canyon University, we specialize in helping you fit a master's degree in nursing into your busy day. Achieve your goals with a plan and team behind you. Balance online coursework and in-person, local clinical, practicum, or immersion hours as you work towards graduation while leaving room for what matters. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Visit gcu.edu.
Ashley's President's Day sale is here to make your home look vibrant this season. Get up to 50% off spotlight deals. Plus, receive a $100 Visa prepaid card by mail when you spend $2,999 or more with an Ashley Advantage Synchrony credit card. Only at Ashley. ABC 15 News is sponsored by The Window Depot. ABC 15 Desert Drive Time, sponsored by Accident Law Group. As we approach 6.15, I'm Megan Thompson. Welcome back to ABC 15 Mornings on this Wednesday. I've got a new crash to tell you about. Here's your heads up. It's the I-10, that eastbound direction. As you're passing the Loop 303 near Estrella Parkway, watching those speeds drop below 15 miles per hour due to this one. With this live picture showing, we've got that left lane partially blocked off. It does appear as ADOT has been, or DPS rather, has been able to move it to that left shoulder. So folks, are getting by in that HOV lane, but since we do have that move over law here in Arizona, I would suggest moving out of there and moving at least one lane over as they continue to clear this scene. The US 60, the westbound direction near McClintock, we've got a crash off to the right hand side and a good news update for you on the 202. We had that rollover crash causing a lot of slowing near McQueen. That has cleared since I last checked in with you. So from the 10 to the 60, that drive time back to normal right around 21 minutes. As we move north and out of the valley, We've got this crash on the I-17 northbound near New River. DPS telling us three construction workers were hit by a vehicle. They are alert and conscious, but they're still working to completely clear that scene. We're working to get you some updates on their condition right now. Here's a view of those desert drive times sponsored by Accident Law Group. This is those East Valley drive times, the 202 westbound from the 101 to the mini stack, the Red Mountain Freeway. It's about eight minutes. Green conditions on the 60 and the 101 northbound from the 202 Santan to the 202 Red Mountain is right around 11 minutes. All right, it is 6.16. I want to get you back out to my co-anchor, Nick Saletti, live in Old Town Scottsdale for us this morning. So set the stage for us there at the ESPN Main Street tailgate. Kick it off, what, in just a couple of hours? Yeah, at 8 o'clock. Speaking of the stage, we actually moved a little bit closer over the past few minutes. This is the ESPN stage here behind me. So this is where all your ESPN favorites are going to be broadcasting from starting today through Super Bowl Sunday. And I don't know if you can hear it. I'm going to pause for a second. And the music in the background it's starting to really ramp up for us this morning. The party getting started nice and early here in Old Town. They've got these barriers out here, of course, to keep people away from the stage. They also have uh, plenty of police. They saw a Scottsdale officer with a dog sniffing around earlier. They want to make sure people are protected here. Speaking of protection, I recently spoke with the Department of Homeland Security. They're here this week partnering with a number of local and state law enforcement agencies, uh, of course, to keep us physically safe, but they also want to make sure we're staying financially safe, especially when it comes to shopping online for sports memorabilia. Take a listen to part of our interview. You're seeing sports merchandise. If it's not from a trusted source, the official site, if you're seeing a deal that's just a little bit too good to be true, there's a couple things I would warn the public about. So first and foremost, when you go onto these sites that you're not exactly sure which site it is, you're disclosing personally identifiable information. Now you just set yourself up potentially for some identity theft, as well as if you're purchasing merchandise and you're giving financial details, your credit card details, that now you've just exposed yourself to financial fraud. And lastly, on some these websites as you're going around the website clicking on links that you're not exactly sure what you're clicking you could potentially unknowingly downloading malware and other viruses onto your home computer yeah, good reminder for all of us. So ahead at 6.30, they're already lining up. They, they want to be on ESPN here. There's a line here that we're going to try to check out, see if we can talk to some folks. We'll see you coming up in just a few minutes. All right, looking forward to that. Thank you very much, Nick. Of course, with so many things happening outdoors and all over town, we do want to bring in our meteorologist, Iris Hermosillo, for a look at that forecast and what we can expect this morning. You know, as you walk outside, we've got some chilly temperatures in the valley. You see Nick in his jacket, and I think that's a good idea, maybe dressed in layers again today as we start off with those chilly conditions. Plus, I'm keeping a close eye on satellite clouds and radar. We've got a few high clouds that you can see there on the map starting to work their way in from the west, and those high clouds will continue to fill in from west to east as we go through the morning, but they're not going to be overly thick, not expecting overcast conditions, more of that filtered sunshine that's possible at times this morning. Then what you're going to see as I fast forward futurecast is that by midday into the afternoon, the clouds are clearing out to the east, and we're going to be left with those mostly clear conditions through the afternoon, and 
mostly clear conditions all the way through Friday, too. So plenty of sunshine as you get outside and enjoy our weather. Now, our temperatures this morning, again, chilly in the valley, much, much colder up north. Flagstaff is down into the single digits this morning. Flagstaff, much cooler than where you stepped outside yesterday. So be mindful of that. Maybe dress in some extra layers as you get ready to walk out the door. Only six degrees right now in the Flagstaff area. We have officially hit the freezing mark in Payson Globe. You're not a whole lot warmer. You're in the 30s at 37. And to the east of there, Sholo, Heber, and also Window Rock waking up to temperatures in the teens. Prescott, you're in the 20s. Lake Havasu, 47 for you. We've got a mix of 30s and 40s around the valley. So the valley, again, chilly this morning. We're dropping, we've dropped rather, to 36 in Gilbert and in Chandler, 39 in Glendale, and surprise, you're at 37. If you are heading out to the WM Phoenix Open today, know that temperatures will start off cold and chilly really cold for our valley standards right i know a lot of visitors are like cold it's not that bad chilly let's call it that temperatures will be in the 40s through the morning then we're into the 50s after that 60s this afternoon gorgeous so make sure that you're wearing sunblock that high will peak in the upper 60s so important to protect your skin as our burn time is at about 45 minutes make sure you're hydrating too regardless of those temperatures right mid 60s today in apache junction upper 60s in levine peoria reaches 68 and across arizona after the very cold start up north flagstaff you'll at least end up in the upper 40s by this afternoon. And then high pressure starts to build in tomorrow. That's going to crank up the winds and bump up those temperatures back into the 70s on Thursday, mid 70s Friday, breezy through the weekend. And it's because high pressure is building in. That'll bring the initial winds. But then we've got a storm system coming by Super Bowl Sunday. The latest track on that looks to bring that storm a little further to the south, limiting our rain chances, but still only about a 10% chance for rain. Breezy Sunday, but also cooler down into the mid 60s. After 15 years as a journalist, I've learned it's important to grab the reader's attention with a catchy headline. Here's mine. Local woman ruins own life. So you doing okay? Yeah. I got coffee in my bra. Oh, and I might have to start driving over on the weekends, but uh, not on a car, so maybe they'll let me carry you. I know I could be more valuable to this paper as an investigative journalist. Mm -hmm. I don't think I follow. Also, that jacket is gross. I'm me. Yeah. When a car wreck throws your whole life out of whack, get the legal help you need when you need it the most. And that time is right now. We're your 24-7 injury attorneys. Murder and rope is the way to go. Call 977-1900. Now handling hair straightener, you can cancer cases. Turn your low energy into big fitness energy in 2023. Join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime, and get energized with tons of equipment. Simply join through the free PF app. Deal ends Thursday, February 16th. Hospice of the Valley supports families every step of the way. We care for people living with chronic illnesses like cancer and heart disease. We also support families who need help caring for a loved one with dementia. And when someone you love needs hospice, we come to you, providing comfort, dignity, and compassionate care. Choose Hospice of the Valley, a legacy of caring for more than 45 years. With the comfort of Lazy Boy Furniture, this is more than just a room. Sometimes it's a nursery, a playground, or a campground, a spa, the backdrop for holiday memories. This is where a lot of your life happens, so I'm thinking, why not live it comfortably? The President's Day Sale. Save 25% off. Lazy Boy. Live life comfortably. Another episode of Not Your Average Joe by Parker and Sons. Joe, I am so glad you're here. The drain is clogged. Don't worry. I got this. As winner of the BBB Torch Award for Business Ethics, you can trust Parker and Sons. I'm all done. Thanks, Joe. Now, if I can just find someone to help our son learn French. Oui. Pas de problème. Pas de problème. Bon travail. Call Parker & Sons today. We're not your average Joe. Lab Diamonds, the smart buy. The jewelry exchange has one carat solitaires from $7.99 to 3 carat $39.90. One carat studs from $6.99 to 6 carat for $69.90. Thousands of diamonds guaranteed the lowest price. The Jewelry Exchange Phoenix. After you've been in a wreck, you need three things. More money, more money, more money. How are you going to get your car fixed and pay your doctor bill? More money, more money, more money. Want more money after you've been hurt in a wreck? More money, more money, more money. Yo, 
Okay, so we don't have to tell you. You already know. It's going to be a huge weekend with the Super Bowl in town and the WM Phoenix Open. It also means really a big payoff for some homeowners who are renting out their places. But there can be a downside to letting someone else stay at your place. All new for you this morning, our Let Joe Know team with advice from a property manager on ways to protect your investment when you're not there. Property seven minutes to Super Bowl, five minutes to Super Bowl. The big weekend is close, and these owners are still looking for renters. People that, you know, have kind of gone into desperation mode thinking that they should have been rented already. Rick Kenworthy says if desperate owners lower prices too low, they could attract the wrong crowd. They hear all the stories. Oh, yeah, you're going to make five grand a night. There's clearly the dark side. Kenworthy runs Old Town Rental, a property management company in Scottsdale. Why well, he's seen what problem renters can do. They had methodically over the course of a week, you know, stolen, I mean, some of the most random items. In most cases, he says that doesn't happen. And he's big on preventing issues from the beginning. Kenworthy says some problems can be prevented even before renters get to the door. He advises talking to them at booking, see if you sense any issues. Also, he says all owners should have two pieces of equipment in their rental. First, a ring doorbell that you should check out when they check in. If you have a reservation for two, and you go back and you scan the check-in and there's eight people bringing suitcases in, you know, you can nip a lot of that in the bud right from the beginning. You can see if your renters have dogs, would rules say no pets, and you can address it immediately. Next, since noise levels bring neighbor complaints, you need noise detectors. It's a good investment, even if you're, if, even if it's just for Super Bowl. He says two detectors can be placed around the rental. You can set them at certain levels to alert you by phone. It'll allow you to get alerted if they're even flirting with thresholds that would be unacceptable. Noise Aware and Minute are big names, running around 100 bucks for sensors, depending on the subscription plan. Kenworthy says most issues can be resolved with a polite email or call. Also, owners should check out any special insurance they might need to protect themselves if they rent their place. And if you're a neighbor, you also have rights. You can file a complaint with the owner, with the police, or even with the booking site for that rental. Go to abc15.com slash let Joe know. I've got more on that right there. I'm investigator Joe Ducey. If you got a problem, let me know. The party is getting started here in Old Town Scottsdale. Here it is, everybody. We found him. I'm ABC 15's Nick Saletti here at the ESPN Main Street to tailgate. All these people lining up to see their ESPN favorites and celebrate Super Bowl 57. More coming up at 630. You can feel the excitement from here, Nick. Thank you. Plus thousands of riders expected and more trains are being added to the tracks. I'm de digging into how the light rail is getting ready to take you to your Super Bowl celebrations. This winter, the only thing better than making plans is sleeping through them. Shop Mattress Firm's President's Day Sale, where you can get a king for a queen and save up to $700 on Sealy and a free adjustable base. Save today at Mattress Firm. It's the Arizona Window and Door Store kickoff sale with your greenest savings ever. Get 100 off interior doors, 500 off exterior doors. And buy one, get one 40% off on all windows. Plus, energy tax credits are back and you can save up to $1,250. Visit azwindowanddoor.com. Celebrate President's Day with great prices on our best-selling sofas and sectionals and incredible savings on recliners, ottomans, and accent chairs. Come find the right furniture for your home today. Visit any one of our showrooms or shop online at AFW.com. I'm Dr. Shaquita Bell. I'm a proud member of the Cherokee Tribe. COVID-19 presents a serious risk to children in the American Indian and Alaska Native communities. The Association of American Indian Physicians encourages all Native children to get vaccinated against COVID-19 as soon as they can. By protecting our youngest tribe members against the virus, we can help preserve our elders, our families, and our children for generations to come. Learn more at aaipvax.org. Let's go! It's your journey. Own every mile in an available H-Track all-wheel drive Hyundai SUV. Get 2.9% APR on the 2023 Tucson or Santa Fe or the 750 bonus cash. Visit your local Hyundai dealer today. Thinking about selling your home in today's more challenging market? Well, you don't have to let it sit for weeks or months trying to sell it the traditional way. It's 72 sold. 
you can get a price thousands more than if you sold the traditional way and get it done A to Z in just eight days. Thinking about selling? Just put in your address and get your price, a higher price for your home in just eight days, only at 72sold.com. This winter, the only thing better than making plans is sleeping through them. Shop Mattress Firm's President's Day sale to save up to $500 on Tempur-Pedic and get 0% interest for 48 months. Save today at Mattress Firm. Right now on ABC 15 Mornings. And the party begins here in Old Town Scottsdale later this morning. I'm ABC 15's Nick Saletti here for the ESPN Main Street tailgate. Let me tell you, this, this is the best tailgate party you have ever been to. E-A-T-L-E-S, Eagle! There are Kansas City Chiefs, you know, win or lose. All aboard the light rail for the big game. I'm digging into what Valley Metro is doing this week to make sure we all make it to our Super Bowl destination. Easily described as one of the best concert venues in the country, the Bird's Nest opens tonight, so what does it take to get some of music's biggest acts to play there? We talk to the Phoenix Thunderbirds, who make the party happen. Whether you're hitting the green for golf or taking part in any of the activities happening around town, I've got you covered with your most accurate forecast. We just touched down. Uh, it's beautiful weather. It's beautiful weather here. You know, we're coming from Kansas City. It's a little cold. Well, good morning to you and welcome back here on this Wednesday. We have so much to get to for you this morning to make sure you are prepared for the day. In fact, let's get you right out to Scottsdale, where our Nick Saletti is in Old Town ahead of the ESPN Main Street tailgate, where, gosh, doors will officially open in, what, 90 minutes? But we see some people have already in the house. <laughs> They're already lined up to party this morning, Kaylee. You, you, you can't blame them, right? Look at this crowd here. They are so excited. All these people lining up for the ESPN Main Street tailgate here. They're excited because ESPN is also going to be broadcasting from here, also starting at 8 o'clock our time. Let's go ahead and introduce you to some of these people. Look who I found this morning. It's Santa Claus. Santa, what are you doing here? Well, I'm on vacation. What better place to be than the Super Bowl? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, you, you worked hard these past few months. You deserve a little break. Everything was delivered on time. I did my job. I'm looking for a little love from Philly fans after 1968 with the snowballs. I was, uh, Hopefully I'll get some love from them. I was worried you'd bring that up. It's yes. a little chilly this morning. It feels like the North Pole out here, Santa, so you must feel right at home. That, I feel fantastic. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Santa. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's introduce you to Paula. Paula is originally from West Philly, but you live in Phoenix now, right? Yes, I do. Okay, so uh, who are you cheering for? I mean, do I even have uh, to ask? Uh, d is there a question? Look at your on tech. Yeah. I, I was looking for you got it looking for Chiefs fans around here. None. Not seeing where are they? Where? They're scared. They're scared. They're where are the Chiefs? Control. Where are the Chiefs fans looking for them? They're okay. scared. They're really scared. Okay, real quick, I want to tell you this admission for this is free. It starts at eight. Uh -oh. Music, live entertainment, all of that goes okay. from eight today, eight till tonight, and then also that's the same schedule through Saturday. And then Sunday it's eight AM to twelve PM. Real quick, can I get a little fly eagles fly? Oh yeah. Here we go. Fly. Eagles fly on a road to victory. Fight, fight, fight. Fight, eagles fight. Score a touchdown, one, two, three. Hit them low. There you go. She knows the whole one. She follow knows everything. A G L E S Eagles. Shout out to my West Philly family in Philly. Yay. All right, there you go, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Oh, thank, thank you, Santa. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> okay, they're having too much fun here. More on this coming up after the break, everybody. But we'll let you know. What, hey, thanks, Santa. More coming up at 8 o'clock. But thank you guys so much for being with us. Big party for you. You having a good time? Oh, having a great time, man. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for the Eagles that's on the East Coast. Okay, sorry, I'm Iris. Fan. I'm so sorry, Iris. I didn't find any Chiefs fans. Don't blame me. <laughs> okay, oh, we'll send it back to you in the studio. <laughs> suspect. All right, thank you so much. Good to see Santa out there, too, right? Making some dreams come true. Thank you, Nick. We'll be checking back in with you here momentarily. We do want to bring in our Megan Thompson, who's continuing our Super Bowl team coverage. And, Megan, you've been talking about ways to get us around the valley with some great options. You know, you see things like that, and you think, I want to go there and experience yeah. something like that. But it's kind of a headache to get around town. So, you know, last time the Super Bowl came here to Arizona, more than 125,000 riders used light rail to get around for all of those activities. I learned a few weeks back that Valley 
Metro is maxing out their fleet by adding more train cars to the tracks, hitting just shy of 60 trains this time around. Now, normally, just over 30 are on the rail, so a huge difference. You may notice the new additions are slightly different, too, than the older trains. Valley Metro says it holds the same amount of riders, but has a more open design, allowing more people to stand if needed. And if you struggled with using the light rail with your bike, that is a change you'll notice in the new design. Instead of having to lifting the bike way up in the air and kind of getting it over a shelf, with this design on this train, it's much easier. It's at the ground level, so people using a bicycle have a much easier time stowing their bikes for the ride. It may be hard for the everyday rider to tell, but the nose of the 11 new trains will be the giveaway on the outside. The older models still have about 15 years of life left on the line, so they'll still be working overtime over the next couple of days. And Kaylee, tomorrow at ABC 15 Mornings, we're going to go on a ride along on the light rail. We're going to get you from the East Valley all the way to the West Valley. We'll do that tomorrow morning. All right, looking forward to that, showing just how easy it can be. Well, it is the only NFL-sanctioned event that offers an opportunity for players to celebrate faith, family, and football during the Super Bowl, and it is happening tonight. It's a big deal. What's it feel like? It's a big deal. I've done it several times before, and yet it never feels like been there, done that. Right? Because it's the NFL. It's the Super Bowl. It's the biggest event of the year, certainly in American sports. And I don't take platforms like that lightly, and I don't take opportunities like that lightly. And, um, and, and this year just feels even that much more special. It feels a little different. We talked a lot about DeMar Hamlin, right, and all the prayer that happened for him and the miracle afterward. The Super Bowl soulful celebration and evening of inspiration and culture, it is being taped live at the Mesa Art Center tonight. Current and former NFL players are gathering on stage with award-winning artists for an evening of praise. And I was able to catch up there with Israel Houghton, who, by the way, is from Globe, Arizona. He's a well-known Christian singer and worship leader, also spent time in Prescott. And he says nights like this are truly moving. And so is sharing the stage with Patti LaBelle. She's approachable. She's She's beautiful. She's a legend. She's literally a national treasure. And for her to take time out of her life and schedule and say, I want to be on this gospel stage is, is big for me. And, and the fact that I get to share that stage with her is such an honor. It's a unifier for sure. Absolutely. And you're bringing people in from the community as well. Well, it is open to the public, and tickets start at $53. Also performing, well, that would be the Players' Choir, the troupe of current and retired NFL players. They sing and dance. They actually started performing together right here in Phoenix during the 2008 Super Bowl. Phoenix Eagles QB Jalen Hurts is also going to be honored tonight with the Faith in Action Award, and the show starts at 7.30. Okay, let's talk about the Kansas City Chiefs and fans who love their barbecue so much. They're having it shipped in from Joe's in Kansas City to the Valley for the big game. So we want to know, which do you prefer? Is it Kansas City barbecue or is it a Philly cheesesteak with a whiz? Or maybe you just want to combine the two and have a big old party. You can scan that QR code right there on your screen. Let us know what you think. And, of course, we'll continue to share those results with you throughout the morning. All right, Iris. Now, you were saying that you had this brought in for your wedding? Yeah, well, so we got married in Kansas City, and we just catered Joe's KC, and it was so good. Awesome. Such a hit. So I just love that people are having it shipped here. What a great idea. I wish I would have thought of it. And I was just going to say, I, you know, I watch the weather across the country. Sure. I think people that maybe aren't coming to town from Kansas City probably wish they could have shipped themselves out here yes. because of the weather that they're going to see over the next few days. And Philly, too. Chilly conditions there throughout the week. I'm watching a storm system that currently is bringing rain to Dallas. That storm system lifts to the north and will eventually bring rain to spots around Kansas City, maybe some snow tonight too, and it's going to keep those temperatures cold. So you know what we get to enjoy in the meantime? Just a few passing clouds. You can see them if you look really closely on Desert Doppler radar. We've got mostly clear conditions otherwise and a gorgeous but chilly start to the day. Our temperature down to 45 now at Sky Harbor, 30s in many spots around the valley. So maybe you crank up the heat for the drive into work, but by the time you're heading home, you're rolling down the windows hopefully as temperatures will top out in the upper 60s today and it will get warmer if you are going to be heading out to the Phoenix Open today in the 60s, but by tomorrow and through the weekend or most of the weekend, temperatures will be in the 70s. Now, you'll notice Sunday, cooler with a slight chance for rain. We'll talk more about that storm system and that super seven-day forecast. All right, Iris.
Looking forward to that. It is 638. We do want to catch you up here on some of the other headlines we're following for you on this Wednesday. The death toll from the devastating earthquake in Turkey and Syria now stands at more than 11,000 people. And that is in addition to 40,000 injuries reported. Rescue crews continue to search for survivors in that debris. And then we have to talk about this here in the valley. Do you see this? This guy is under arrest today after scaling that 400 foot high chase tower in downtown Phoenix. So he calls himself the pro-life Spider-Man. And he says he was trying to bring attention to a pro-life nonprofit that he supports. Fire crews, they were ready to repel to get him out of there, but they didn't need to. And now he is facing possible criminal charges. At 639, let's get you a check of traffic sponsored by Accident Law Group because you know it's busy all around the valley with all of these activities. Plus, we've got some issues outside the valley in the high country. The I-17, the northbound direction of the roadway, if you plan on heading to the high country today at milepost 234 near New River, we do have a crash. We have heard from DPS that a vehicle collided with three construction workers out there. They are alert. They are conscious, according to DPS, but the extent of their injuries unknown. They let us know the left lane is blocked off. So a heads up for you as you head out the door. And here's a view in the valley of the I-10, that eastbound direction near Estrella Parkway, where we've just seen a crash clear. In fact, we had two in this area, the one at Estrella Parkway and one at Bullard, that one off to the right-hand side. So it's definitely caused an impact to that desert drive time, especially for folks coming from the West Valley into the downtown Phoenix area. A check of your desert drive time there is coming up, Kaylee. Okay. Well, you know the valley is the place to be right now. We have some deals for you as we continue our Super Bowl and Phoenix. Phoenix Open coverage after this short break. Well, we got to talk about this. My co-anchor Nick Sledi is live in Old Town ahead of the ESPN Main Street tailgate. Amelia Fabiano bringing us a preview of the Coors Light Bird's Nest. We'll check back in with them in just moments. Showing how you feel. It's been a while. Go ahead and smile. If you could create your perfect retirement, what would it look like? Would it have modern, maintenance-free villas and apartment homes that feel more like a luxury resort? Would it come with your very own sports bar or dog park and five distinctive on-campus dining experiences? If this sounds like your perfect retirement in the making, guess what? We're building it now at Inspirata Point, the newest neighborhood at Royal Oaks. Inspirata Point, retirement just the way you want it. Age comes with wisdom. And wisdom comes with benefits. Dryer's broken. Okay. You want a socket. That's especially true when it comes to Medicare. So make the wise call and learn more about Cigna Medicare plans in your area. Their tools and resources make it simple and easy. Bears can smell Wi-Fi. Visit SignaWiseCall.com today. You'd want to flip it. $200 instantly. Just for betting five bucks. <laughs> DraftKings, listen to me. You listen, you listen good. I appreciate you for recognizing how valuable my time is. But instantly, stop. You're not going to make me sweat a little bit? Feel some extra bump bumps in my chest while the game is going on? <laughs> oh, look, wait a minute. There's my $200. That was fast. <laughs> Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Bet just $5 to get 200 and free bets instantly. Action so good. Why bet NFL playoffs anywhere else? Touchdown. Nah, interception. The unknown is not empty. It's a storm that crashes and consumes, replacing thought with worry. But one thing can calm uncertainty. An answer. Uncovered through exploration, teamwork, and innovation. An answer that leads to even more answers. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. As I was saying, new FanDuel customers get up to $3,000 back if they don't win their first bet. Go ahead. Gronk, K. Adams, FanDuel TV. So you're kicking a field goal during the Super Bowl live? Yep, the FanDuel kick of destiny. And you're not nervous? Please. Get up to $3,000 back if you don't win your first bet. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. 
affordable dentures and implants, we make new smiles affordable for everyone. So you don't need to wait another day to get your smile back. Click our call to schedule your new smile consultation today. Go ahead and smile. ABC 15 Desert Drive Time, sponsored by Accident Law Group. Welcome back to ABC 15 Mornings. I'm Megan Thompson. A heads up for you. If you normally get on or off the freeway, the 202, the Red Mountain Freeway at Priest Drive, you're going to run into this. We've got plenty of flashing lights, and we've got a lot of first responders, some police, walking in the area, cleaning up some debris from a crash. We do notice that a vehicle is up on that tow truck bed, so hopefully we'll see this area clear relatively soon. But you may want to find yourself an alternate route to get on or off the freeway. Maybe you could use Washington as that alternate to get you by that scene a bit easier. Taking you over to another crash we're dealing with just off the freeway. 75th Avenue and McDowell Road is closed just north of I-10 due to a crash. So those major intersections to get around this scene is going to be eastbound, westbound, Thomas or Van Buren, of course the 10, and option two, northbound or southbound to be 83rd or 67th Avenue to get by a bit easier. As I pull out, that wide view of those traffic maps, you notice we've still got that crash off right on the I-10 eastbound near about Bullard, but that second crash at Estrella has cleared. Here's what it's done to that desert drive time. If you're coming from the Loop 303 over to the stack interchange, heading closer to the mini stack where the 51, the 202 Red Mountain, and the 10 all meet together. That's about a 50-minute drive time as you head out the door here. The 17 from the 101 to the stack interchange where the 17 and the 10 meet north of the Durango curve. That's 19 minutes. The 51 southbound from the Loop 101 to the mini stack is still keeping those green conditions, at least for now. That's about 16 minutes, Kaylee. Well, we do want to catch you up here on your Wednesday morning headlines. Military officials will brief some members of Congress today about that Chinese spy balloon shot down by a U.S. fighter jet. Navy and Coast Guard officials are using underwater drones to search for any remaining debris from that balloon. Boy, a big night in Los Angeles as LeBron James becomes the all-time leading scorer in NBA history. And that would be 38,388 points in the third quarter to pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You know, in a little more than an hour, ESPN is going to officially be taking over Old Town Scottsdale with a tailgate on Main Street. My co-anchor, Nick Saletti, is there live ahead of all the fun. We've seen Santa out there. We've seen some Eagles fans, and it is going to be a great time. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I actually just saw a group of Chiefs fans okay. walk by. So the Chiefs fans are starting to arrive as well. So I'm going to let Iris know about that. It's not just the Eagles fans, okay? It, whatever side you're on. All right, it is going to be such a good time here in the heart of Old Town Scottsdale. This is the ESPN Main Street tailgate. We're here on Main Street. Got Scottsdale Road to my north, got Brown to my south here. They're taking over this whole block. It's like a big block party. You got music, live entertainment. There's food that you can purchase as well. You got the big Super Bowl sign behind me. Seeing a lot of people taking selfies and just having a good time already. Also, the ESPN main stage is just uh, about 100 yards away right now. They're already taking people lining up right now to stand in front and maybe, who knows, be in the background of Sports Center. Real quick, I want to talk about some alternate transportations, right? There's something called the Green Easy Safe Transportation. Or or Jest is what it's called. It's a fleet of six electric vehicles that's going to be around town, especially in the busy areas. They're going to try to concentrate them in the areas where they feel like will be the highest traffic, the most people who need them. The best part is it's totally free, except they're asking you to tip the drivers. That's the only thing. Make sure to tip the driver. Don't forget that. And here's a little bit more about how it works. You would hail a guest car, you would show up, they would bring you down, there would be music, there would be entertainment. Like I said, we just want to be the segue between the party. That's all we're trying to do. Either we're getting you home safe or we're taking you to the party. So we're pretty excited. Trying to get you to the party, trying to get you to this party because it is already starting. We got some fans here already. I told you, taking pictures here by the Super Bowl sign, Super Bowl 57. You can download the app for Jess too if you'd like to try to access them. But yeah, the fun already starting. Officially kicks off in an hour or so, but already you can see fans are arriving here. I'll be here throughout the morning on the CW61 Arizona, keeping tabs on all the party goers and having a little fun myself, guys. I love this. You know, and what's so great about the partying is that. 
that's not the only place that's really going to be, you know, going off a little bit later this morning. We want to take you to North Scottsdale where the grass is ready, the course is set, and in not very long, at 8.30, Larry Fitzgerald and Emmett Smith are going to be among the first players to hit the TPC Scottsdale for the Pro-Am. The party there is just getting underway. Our Amelia Fabiano getting things started with a look at the fun happening right there in the midst of the golf tournament. Hey, good morning, Kaylee. Yeah, it is quiet right now here at TPC, but look at this beautiful green grass we have here behind us. You're already seeing some golf carts going by out here. Things are going to get started. As you said, tee-off is at 8.30 this morning. Those gates, I believe, open at 7, so we are minutes away from things starting to liven up around here. And, of course, a big party happening later on tonight at the Coors Light Bird's Nest. It's really earned a legendary status on the PGA Tour, easily described as one of the best music venues in the nation by a lot of people. This is the premier four-night after party that starts tonight right across the street from here at TPC Scottsdale every year. For decades, some of music's biggest names have rocked the North Scottsdale venue. But as you can imagine, the competition to book major music acts is fierce, especially with the Super Bowl in town, too. That's some tough competition. We talked with the Phoenix Thunderbirds, who work behind the scenes, planning well in advance to land premier talent. They tell us because Arizona has hosted the big game several times in the past, booking early, they've learned, is key. And so are early ticket sales. We started really early. Um, in fact, we were making offers to artists in late February to get ready for this year already. So that and then we just we've got great artist relationships, which certainly helps because with the caliber of talent that we're talking to, they can book any show. So having those relationships that Thunderbirds have uh, with music helps a lot. So here is who was on tap for tonight. Dustin Lynch, Shalaney Wilson from Yellowstone, Chris Lane will all rock the stage. And we hear there are some unique surprises possibly expected to be in store for tonight. So that'll be cool to see. Tomorrow night, it is Jason Aldean, Friday, Machine Gun Kelly, and Saturday, it's the Chainsmokers and Griffin. Now, headliners typically take the stage at around 8.30 every night at the Coors Light Bird's Nest. So... It's going to be an exciting one, and if you want to try and score some tickets, too, make sure you check out our website, abc15.com, because we have the link and all the information you need to know right there. Back to you, Kaylee. Arizona is definitely the place to be. This is just exciting, That's Amelia. For sure. Thank <laughs> you for that. We do want to check in with our meteorologist, Iris Manasio, selfishly. I'll be out there as a standard bearer, a, score, a scorekeeper with Emmett Smith, and I think a lot of people who are going to be out there want to know what the weather's going to be like. You know, we mentioned it. This is really the place to be this week. We talk about how Kansas City is going to be cold. Well, Philly's not doing a whole lot better. That view there in Philly was looking fantastic with clear skies, but temperatures there in the 30s and highs this week will only only reach the 40s to 50s. So colder conditions in other parts of the country while we of course enjoy mostly sunny skies and a chilly start but gorgeous conditions ahead. So all the Philly fans I'm sure are excited for this warm up as we all are, right? We like to enjoy, most of us are. I, I won't speak for everybody but I think most people are excited about the 70s that are going to be setting in. Even today's still going to be really nice. Yesterday we made it into the upper 60s and today I think we're right back into the upper 60s with that high up to 60 68 this afternoon. Look for mostly sunny skies. Some high clouds will drift through and you'll see them throughout the morning and into the midday. But then they're going to clear out fairly quickly, leaving sunny skies through this evening and more sunshine in the forecast tomorrow and through much of the day on Friday. We'll see some high clouds drift in Friday evening, but otherwise nice and dry conditions. For tomorrow, as we get the first round of the Phoenix Open going, 71 for a high. But breezes will also pick up a little bit more tomorrow and really through the weekend. So this may be a factor, and I know all of those golfers are certainly watching this as those winds will increase in speed, topping out between about 10 and 15 miles an hour by the afternoon. Gusts tomorrow could peak closer to 25 miles an hour. You'll notice that temperature, though, tops out at 71 by about 4 o'clock. Friday, those winds could get a little stronger, gusts closer to 30 miles an hour, but warmer, too. Friday, a high of 74. Our temperatures by the evening cooling off nicely in case you're heading out to downtown Phoenix 
upper 60s by 6 p.m., about 60 degrees by 8 p.m. Friday night, and then chilly and into the mid-50s after that by about 10 o'clock. Saturday brings some more breezes and a high of 76, but look at Sunday. We still have a chance for rain, but that rain chance doesn't kick in until late evening, and it's a very minimal threat. I think most of us will stay dry. I think the main impact will be the change in temperatures. We'll be dropping into the 60s with a high of 66 by kickoff. Temperatures in the meantime through the morning and maybe as you're tailgating will warm into the low 60s by lunchtime. Then more 60s going into next week. Natural diamonds at their lowest price in years. Why buy lab when you get half carat certified diamonds for $5.99, one carat $15.99, and two carat $49.90, plus the guaranteed lowest price on GIA diamonds and mounts. The Jewelry Exchange Phoenix. What are the elements of an unforgettable massage experience? At Elements Massage Studios, it starts with talented, trained hands, a tranquil setting, and a personalized approach. Because you're one of a kind, and your massage should be too. There's no limit to what massage can do, which is exactly why massage makes the perfect gift for any occasion. Give the gift of self-care this Valentine's Day with $20 off an Elements Massage gift card. Visit ElementsMassage.com for a studio near you. Discover more Play for All at Harris Optim Casino. Where having fun means racking up reward credits with the Caesars Rewards Loyalty Program. They can be redeemed for food, free play, hotel stays, and more. Not only here in the city of Maricopa, but also at more than 50 Caesars properties coast to coast. From Harris, Las Vegas, to Caesars Palace in Atlantic City, what are you waiting for? Play your way to 100K, only at Harris Auction Casino with Caesars Rewards. Play for all. When I decided to go ahead with Window World, uh, we talked about the lifetime warranty, and I was very pleased with that because I plan on being here until I go out feet first. <laughs> During the installation, I followed them around from window to window. It was just amazing to me how fast and efficient they were. There was no dawdling around. They, they got the job done. Window World, simply the best for definitely less. Grand Canyon University's affordable academic model allows many students to attend for less than the cost of a state university and with less debt after graduation. See what scholarships you qualify for. Find your purpose at gcu.edu slash myoffer. Here in Arizona and all across America and the globe, the news you care about is on ABC 15. Stories that matter. People you trust with Javier Soto, Katie Rammel, and David Muir. Weeknights on ABC 15 Arizona. Stay up to date on the latest headlines and stories with the ABC 15 app. Streaming on these devices. Sponsored by Desert Diamond Casino West Valley. Well, this guy is now under arrest after scaling that 400-foot-high chase tower in downtown Phoenix. He is now facing possible criminal charges. The Annexus Pro-Am at the WM Phoenix Open tees off today. Your favorite celebrities, rock stars, and pro athletes are teeing it up with the PGA Tour's best. And then tonight, the Coors Light Bird's Nest kicks off that four-night after party. Counting down to game time, doors open in a little more than an hour there at the ESPN Main Street tailgate in Old Town Scottsdale. It's family-friendly fun, and it is free for all Super Bowl fans through Sunday. So all morning long, yes. we have been asking you about fan favorite foods. Are you Team KC with the barbecue or are you Philly cheesesteak with the Wiz? <laughs> mm. And here are the results of this poll. 55% <laughs> going for the, the Wiz and the cheesesteak. Uh, it's uh -huh. really good. I well, mean, that's I'm sorry. good. You it's haven't had Joe's KC. No, me. I have not. Yeah, that's why. That is okay, sacrilege. You don't know any no. better yet. <laughs> <laughs> we should have it. some shift in yeah. because we were that's talking about how people idea. are having, you know, like barbecue both. shift in. Yeah. <laughs> well, at 43% too are saying barbecue. Yeah. Only 2% want a combo of I, both. I don't know about a barbecue cheesesteak. I don't know if that sounds good. But you know what? Mm, Why not? That'd be a little weird. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Make it a great day, Arizona. Katie Rammel and Holly.